Hello everyone, this is Blessed and Saved. It's November 18th, 2018. I had a very interesting dream last night. Um, I don't remember the entire dream, but I do remember the important part that happened in it. And um, I'd just like to uh, <clears throat> go over something that I wrote down and uh, it gets to the part um, in the dream. So, my cup runneth over with blessings. I had a dream I was in a crowded meeting place and someone yelled out, we aren't going to allow none of those trans people in here. And it came to me to go to that man and ask him if he had ever sinned. And I said, have you ever lied? He hesitated and said, no. Then he corrected himself and said, yes. But then he just kept yelling along with everyone else that was yelling. And in the dream, this small room was just full of people yelling and disapproving of, you know, them letting in these trans people and, you know, the gay people. <clears throat> um, and so I yelled over the noise in his face. I was real close to him. I had to get real close so that he could hear what I was saying. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? He right away says yes, like he was doing a good thing, proving he wasn't like those other sinners. So I yelled, so you are a lying adulterer. And I immediately started talking about how Jesus was with the woman who they wanted to stone because she was caught in the act of adultery. And Jesus said to them, the first one that has no sin cast a stone. And I'm going to read, that's actually paraphrasing. I'm going to read uh, straight from the King James Version um, what he said, what it says. Uh, so it's John chapter 8, verse 7. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, he that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And back to my uh, dream. Um, well, that was basically uh, the gist of my dream. And um, so he told the woman, and it goes on to say, uh, in John chapter 8, um, I'll just keep reading, verse 8 and 9 and 10 and 11. So verse 8 says, And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground, and they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman, woman standing in the midst. When Jesus lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are th those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. And I think that's what a lot of people forget. They they remember the the part where he says, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. But then they forget to read down, and it says, Neither do I condemn thee, go and sin no more. He didn't say, Go and keep sinning and doing what you're doing. Everyone's a sinner. He wants us to go and sin no more once we come to him and repent. And sometimes we will fall and sin again, but, you know, it's the fact that we have to be conscious of it and feel guilt when we do sin. Um... You know, Jesus came into the world to save sinners, not to condemn them. We are all sinners in need, in need of a Savior. 
No one can stand before God on Judgment Day and be saved by his or her works. Jesus took all sin to the cross and said, It is finished. If we believe and confess that he is our Lord and Savior and repent and obey his voice and commandments, we must love God with all our hearts and love one another. He will take care of us. He will take care of the rest. And I'm also, you know, reminded of the scriptures that talks about, you know, him taking care of the birds of the air and, you know, are we not greater than the birds that he takes care of? He is surely taking care of his own people. And we, you know, oftentimes, and I'm guilty of it too, um, it's hard not to look in the world and see all this sin and corruption and um, not feel a hardened heart towards these people. Um, I don't have to condone what they're doing, but I also have to remember that I am a sinner as well, and these people are in need of a Savior. They're in need of uh, hearing that Christ came and um, gave his life for them and rose on the third day that they might be saved through their faith in him. It's, it's up to them to, to believe or not to believe. We can't judge them if, if they choose not to believe. Uh, like I said, we don't have to condone what they do, but we can't judge them because we have sin as well. Um, so it's up to God. He takes care of everything. We have to go plant seeds and do our part. Um, you know, a lot of people have the the thought that, you know, as long as I believe and, you know, I, I do all these things, uh, I don't have to, you know, and b believe and I don't have to do anything else. But, you know, Christ wants us to go and plant seeds and spread his word and uh, confess with our mouths what he did for us. And, you know, I surely know that um, he has saved me from a mountain of sin, and I am ever grateful for that. And so that's why I'm making these videos, and that's why I post things when I can and talk to people when I can and pray for people when I can. Not that it's all about me. It's not about me. It is about Christ who is in me and who is working through me. And that's what he wants us to spread, his love. Okay, everybody have a blessed day. Thank you for listening. Take care.